All right, it's time for some demolition. I'm in the house today. Gonna be taking out some walls and doing different things like that. Wanna inspect behind the drywall, see if there's any issues. And we're just gonna be moving some walls around in the future. So today we're getting prepped for that and we'll see what kind of treasures and things we find in the walls. Victoria already got started the other day, so we can see what's going on a little bit. But first things first, I am looking for a power cable because over in the bar room I found this awesome big speaker. So if I could get some tunes jamming, well, the work will definitely get done faster. All right, after day one, the bedrooms are now combined to make a master bedroom. Of course, we have two studs there in the middle, but it's definitely opened up and it looks awesome. I can tell that my voice is echoing. It's definitely a bigger space and I love that. So this is gonna be the master bedroom, also the cat room because, well, the cats rule our lives. And here's a little something that I can think about as I try to drift off to sleep tonight. Definitely had some mouse activity in this wall. Look at that chewed wire. That's definitely scary. So stuff like this definitely justifies the fact that we're kind of tearing it apart and inspecting things. At first it would have been nice just to move in, but Definitely it's worthwhile to take a step back and make things how we really want them. It's day two and I got the rest of this room opened up. Um, it doesn't look too bad. Definitely more signs of mouse activity at some point, but nothing bad like I saw yesterday. So got cleaned up and everything. Trying to protect this floor as much as possible till we decide what we're doing with everything. But yeah, the main goal is just to get gutted so we can uh, turn off this electric and be able to start running some new lines and frame like the, we're going to get rid of that wall and we're moving some stuff around like that. But yeah, it's definitely looking good. I'm going to get this room cleaned out now so that we can work. At some point, the inevitable ceiling is coming down so we can inspect and see what's going on up there. Plus, we're going to be doing recessed lighting, so that'll be key and make it a lot easier if we just tear it all down. Definitely was more mouse activity in there. And you know what? It's okay, whatever. This stuff's coming out. We're gonna be doing some better stuff in here anyway. So gut it, clean it, rebuild. I love this light so much, it was time to get another one. All right, awesome. Now that I got more lights, at some point I'll be turning off the electric in this room. So that's definitely gonna help. What's really nice about these is you can hook them up to the battery packs, which I got plenty of but you can also hook them up to a power cord as well. So that's kind of a nice fallback in case the batteries, you're going through them too quick. But yeah, they're excellent lights. Victoria talked me into it really quickly. She's like, why don't you get a second one? Okay.
want to remove some of this flooring because we're going to be modifying this wall a little bit. So we're going to see how that goes. It shouldn't be too bad. It should just come right out of the grooves if all goes to plan. So we will see about that. We're going to be starting the construction phase on this room in two days. So it's time to get it done now. Well, so that's where we stand at the end of today. I guess we'll see what tomorrow brings and ultimately on construction day, which is right around the corner. Honestly, guys, I'm not too worried about it. We've been through it before and uh, this time we have a plan. Now, I know this is a model railroad channel ultimately, but here's one good lesson about model trains. If you guys got a good plan, the whole thing's going to come together a lot quicker. I can already see it happening with this house, even though we're having a couple roadblocks here or there. Ultimately, we default back to the plan. What do we want? How do we get there quicker? And that's the whole thing. With the other house that we did in the past, we didn't exactly have a plan. We just kind of attacked it from all different directions. And, well, it didn't get done. It took over 15 years and already this project seems to be moving a lot smoother and a lot faster. I guess we'll see what we get into tomorrow. All right guys, it's the next day. I just walked in the door and I'm ready to get to work. Uh, we had a slower day at the business today, um, which is honestly, sometimes that would be a problem, but honestly, I'll take it. Uh, it's been nonstop since September, October. Uh, yeah, today I almost felt like a break. We still did pretty good, but uh, yeah, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. Got a whole day of work ahead of me, which is exciting because I got a big game plan today. So I'm gonna jump right into it. Can't wait to get warmed up because, oh, it's freezing outside. It feels like we're gonna get a blizzard today or something. <laughs> Now I'm warmed up. <laughs> All right, on to the next thing. Yesterday was a very sad day. I destroyed my hammer <laughs> in the fire by accident. A piece of wood jumped out and uh, quickly melted it. But actually guys, yesterday was an amazing day. We got so much done in the house and we're moving forward so quickly. This is going to be the last walkthrough before we wrap up this video. So we ripped out the tub last night. We are started on our second load of junk going to the landfill. Um, it was really easy yesterday. We had a guy bring out a trailer. We filled it up. It was here and gone within 24 hours. It was so easy. So we're definitely going to be doing that again. Thank you, Brian, also for getting here so quickly. So here's the bathroom. We're in the process. We're going to remove this wall and extend it back to here. So that's going to give us a little bit nicer of a bathroom. And we got to get that rest of those walls moved but yeah things are really coming together we got this this is going to be like our laundry room and closet and all that stuff it's going to be a very simple house just one bedroom just for us and the cats <laughs> but yeah we're really excited like i said at the onset uh we went a long time without a stable house so this is going to be really nice we don't have too much to do here we i mean we do but nothing like what we worked on before Oh yeah, we found a bird nest, which I suspected because the flashing was removed outside. So yeah, we got a lot of holes to patch up from the inside and out, but we're really excited. And we only got one more room to go until we start talking additions and basement. So we thank you guys so much for the support. Again, this project means so much to us because um, as we get this completed, we can kind of have a normal life and we can focus fully on the train business. So we're excited for that. All right, guys. See you guys in the next installment of Rails to Retail.